Is this your farm? <laughs> Welcome once again to Smart Agro Innovations, your channel that teaches a lot practical things in the field of agriculture. Today, since we are with plantains and bananas, today we are going to talk about the secret behind the formation of double fruit bunch. Naturally or commonly, what we see is that most plantains or bananas gives one fruit bunch at the end of the day. But in situation working with plantains, we come to realize that one plantain can give us double fruits, double fruit bunches. How does that happen? Today, we are going to show you. We have the practical field uh, video over there. From this explanation, we'll move back to the farm to show you how it is or how the formation occurs. Now, this is how it occurs. Let's say this is a normal plant, plantain plant or banana plant. This is the stem. Here. This is the stem. So, these are the roots. These are the leaves. So normally we have the epica, the internal structure, the whitish thing inside. This whitish thing that we find or you found in the plantain is what matures to form the fruit bunches. To form the fruit bunches. So these are the leaves. These are the leaves. And then this is the Epica Merisem that goes to form the stalks. And then, you know. So normally, that is how a normal plantain should give us. And let's say in the near future, it goes and give us plantain. Uh, it gives us plantain or banana um, fruit bunch. So normally, a single plantain can give us um, a single fruit bunch. But in working with plantain, we realize that there are double fruit bunches. This is how it is formed. So let's look at this. So this is single fruit bunch. Now, let's look at the double fruit bunch, the subject of the day. Yes, the formation occurs this way. Let's say this is the stem. These are the roots. We have the pseudo stem. Now, we have the leaves. So these are the leaves of the plantain. Now, the Epica Merisem is here, or which we describe as the describe as the internal structure that forms the eye. So, in double fruit band formation, it will come as a single Epica Merisem like this. That's the whitish thing inside plantain. Then at a point in time, something mysterious happens along the day. And that is cell division. Cell division will occur. That's the process of fertilization here and there before there is fruit formation. So, if you go to a certain point, at that point, then, during cell division, the whole eye will split. It is coming as a single sort of thing. But when it reaches a certain level, it splits. It splits. And each one moves upwards. 
So, you see that the initial stage, it was single, but when it got to some point, it had to split. So, cell division took place, and then this is um, diploid in science. <laughs> I'm taking you to the classroom. Formation of trains in human. Sometimes a single sperm, when doing self division, we just split. And when it splits, then we get trains. Here is the same thing in plantains. Start them. All right. Um, this is our practical field. This is a typical plantain farm. So, um, from the board, we we'll move you straight to the farm so that you get to understand what is actually happening when it comes to plantains. Um, plantains, for all we know, originally, every plantain gives us one fruit bunch. But this is something that we have seen so far working with plantains. Now there is a double um, plant in here. And then there is a plant, a single plant, which is giving us a two bunches. Um, it is very simple. But it looks quite strange. A lot of people see that no, this is not real. But it's real. Um, it's perfect. Um, if you look at this, get closer. If you look at this, this is one plant. This is the stem of the plantain plant. It has a single base. This is the pseudo stem. The pseudo stem is here. It's just one. But as it moves, as it grows. You see that there is double fruit bunches here formed. There's a formation of double fruit bunches. And at normal circumstance, you see that a single plantain plant will give us a single fruit bunch. But this particular variety is giving us double um, fruit bunches. We have the first bunch is here, this is the second bunch. So as it grows to a certain level, when it starts fruiting, then there is actually cell division and according to my little belief in science i can see that it, this occurred as a result of the genetic origin the when the genetic origin of that particular species is being grown for so long at least um possibly there might have been a mutation during cell division when it comes to genetics which resulted in this particular variety. There are many in this environment. We are going to give you details of how the whole plant look like. What happens in there, we are going to dip through to give you the internal and the integral um, section. In fact, a cross section of the whole thing. You see that the pseudo stem, including the epical meristem, the epical meristem is in inside the plantain we are going to peel off all these and then we show you how the epical meristem looks like and then we all discuss it so today it's all about double food bunch plantain um variety which have been found in one of our farms in um multiplying plantain circus so possibly let's go and then work on the um a typical internal cross section of the whole plant this is another one um lucky enough this one is already down due to poor support and we we because of practical purposes and then also research purposes um this is the base of the plant this is the pseudo stem the epical meristem is um, inside there let's go let's see the fruit bunch that it actually gave us now is the whole thing as it got to a certain height during um cell division this is what happens in fact this is the internal cross section of the whole thing we have two fruit bunches this is one fruit this is one fruit coming from a single plantain plant so we are going to peel up the whole thing to see um what is actually happening in here so let's go let's see what happens now this is the it's just like we are dissecting the whole thing this is the internal cross section of 
a double bunch plantain. We are going to show you how the whole thing happens. The sheet or the shirt which gives us the leaves. We are removing it one by one. Look at the internal cross section of the whole plantain. It's ongoing. We are removing all the shirts, the leaves. This is how it is. This is the Epica Meristem. This is the Epica Meristem. As you can see, the Epica Meristem is here. You see that it's double through us. Just. Meanwhile, this is a single plant. plant. But you see how it is. The internal Epica Meristem is two. That is how come mm. we have um, multiple food bunches on a single plantain. Let's move on. Let's see. What happens at the base at the pseudo stem? We are going to see what is actually happening over there. Whether they grow together before they sprout or the, the double epica merry stem runs through. You see it. This is a typical dissection of a plantain plant we are in the operation room mm -hmm. operating <laughs> the plantain mm. plants yeah here we are mm -hmm. here we are we can see that if from the base here we go we are still removing Back now, Now we are in a simple plantain theater performing some operation. <laughs> yeah, so you can see that this is the pseudo stem and this is the epica meristem. stem. The epica meristem. stem. Let's move through to the apex and then we get back so that they can see it clearly now this is the full epical meristem as it go to a certain point then cell division came in cell division came in here from the base to this side from the base to this side you realize that it was one but when it got here there was cell division so they had to divide here yeah, that's what i initially said that this might have been genetic mutation of the genetic origin of this particular variety realize that when it was growing at a point in time cell division occurred and then um it had to split so we had two um um epical meristem as it continued to grow and that resulted in the multiple fruit branches from the base you can see we had just a single um epical meristem but going forward or grooming you realize cell division occurred and hence we had two and that ran through to this particular formation of fruit so you can see that surely <laughs> there is split you can see that indeed um this is multiple 
branches. So let's split them. Oh, I see they are trains. <laughs> it has occurred in plantain. So this is it. Yeah. But at the base, you realize that they are one. They are one. You realize they are one. So this is um, mm, mm, a simple mm, mm, thing. Mm, mm. You're talking, talking now, uh, anything. Oh. This is a simple um, epical meristem which has given us a single epical meristem giving us two um, fruit bunches that resulted in double fruit bunches. So this is the little science that we have learned. This is the beauty of science. This is how it is. When it go here, cell division occurred. It was one from the beginning, from the base here. To this side, but when you go here during its growth stage, you realize that um, cell division occurred and that resulted in multiple fruit branches. So, this is the beauty of real science ranging from the base. The epical meristem was one at a point in time, cell division occurred and there was division, so they had to split and they split. And they continue to also grow to this level, having two fruit branches on a single plantain plant. This is a real science and the beauty of science when it comes to plantain sucker multiplication. Thank you very much for watching us and subscribe to our channel. Yeah, we will let you know everything concerning plantains as we move along yeah this practical waste was taken in the western north region of ghana west africa